you trying to overcome fear? Feel like fear has too much control over your life? Well, today, we're gonna change that. So let's define fear. Fear is something we deal with all the time. Fear was something that we deal with on a daily basis. Fear is something that is natural. Fear is something that keeps us alive. But when, when should we allow fear to stop us from achieving the things we want to achieve, from doing the things we want to do? When does fear become too much? Why should we let fear define our direction? Why is that okay with us? Why is it so hard to fight fear? Why are all our decisions based out of fear? So maybe you fear the loss of something. Maybe it's the loss of a job. Maybe it's the loss of a relationship. Maybe you fear change. Maybe you're too comfortable where you're at. Maybe you feel that change wouldn't bring for you the comfort you have now. Maybe you fear the outcome would not be what you thought it would be. These are all just excuses. This is why fear holds us back. Because we don't know, there's no guarantee on the other side. And fear is there to explain this to us, to tell us that, what if? What if it doesn't work out? What if I lose too much? What if the change isn't something that I wanted? What if the outcome is not what I wanted, not what I was expecting? But do we allow fear to define our path? Or do we allow fear to guide us? The problem with fear is that it robs us of experiences. What could be the potential that you have that you'll never know because you allow fear to step in instead of executing. To know that fear is playing us. That every time fear shows its face, we step back, we step down. Why do we let fear rob us of our experiences? What kind of great potential do you have inside you that nobody knows about? Why do we hold on to this? Is it the fear of being judged? Is it the fear of not knowing? You should not let fear dictate your journey. You should let fear but guide you and not dictate. There's a reason to fear things. But there's no reason to fear the great potential that you could be sharing with everybody. Don't fight fear. The more you fight fear, the stronger and fiercer fear becomes. Fear doesn't like change. Fear doesn't like guessing. Fear doesn't like anything that allows you to benefit yourself. This is why we're in the situation we're in. Fear likes comfort. Fear likes to relax. Fear likes to keep you alive. But if you listen to fear, you're not going to get what you want out of life. Now, I'm not saying be fearless. Fear will never go away. But what I'm saying is you need to change perspective. Fear is but a tool. Fear can be our greatest ally. Fear can actually be our compass. To understand this, you have to understand that Fear is our comfort, and anything outside of our comfort is where fear comes. And when it shows its nasty face, you do the complete opposite of what it's asking you to do. This is where you'll find your greatest growth. This is where you'll find your greatest journeys. So don't be afraid of fear. Use it, harness it, realize that it's a great tool Realize that fear is trying to give you insight onto where you should be going. 
to know that you need to be doing the opposite of whatever fear is telling you. And you can find great things. So respect fear. Yes, there can be loss. Yes, there can be change. But with fear comes the opportunity to have your greatest growth, to have your greatest experiences. Just as long as you harness the fear and realize that fear is not so bad after all.